Ashley with At Home with Ashley. We are in the middle of a kitchen renovation and part of that is we're going to add banquette seating to our dining room and we're going to do an Ikea hack. I did one last year. I'll attach the video here, but I'm going to go a little more in depth this time so it will be even more helpful. The first thing you're going to want to do is to assemble the bench. So you just follow Ikea's instructions, but you can see it's really easy. And the beauty of this project is that you use the bookcase as the base and it saves you so much time and money. So you can see we put this together in maybe five minutes and then you have the whole bottom part. Then we used the anti-tip pieces and attached them to the base. And we actually had a problem and that's our outlet was in the way. So we just used a router to cut a hole so that it could sit flush. And then we used really long screws to attach the bench to the wall. Then we attached the piano hinge to the base. We ended up putting it on this side so that it could open. I'll show you later how it opens. Um, for the bottom of the seat, we did um, plywood and we just cut that with the table saw to the exact size as the top of the bench. I have um, the measurements on my blog post. I sanded it and then we cut baseboard so that we could fully build it into the wall. I think this gives it a really polished finish. You can skip this if you're a renter, but I think this is what makes it look extra amazing. We caulked the holes and painted the baseboard and then I painted the bottom of the bench seat and used spray adhesive to attach foam to the wood. I used a serrated knife to cut the foam to size and this was actually really <laughs> tricky to do. If you have an electric knife definitely use that and try to do it as smooth as possible but any knife will work for this. Then I cut batting to size. I wanted it to be as not bulky as possible so I cut off any excess including on the corners and then once that was all cut to size, I took it outside and I used spray adhesive to attach the batting to the base. And this just makes it so it doesn't move around a lot when you are upholstering it. So I'm using this gray vinyl and I cut it like three or four inches too big, which that's exactly how you want it. Then I started using staples to attach the vinyl to the base. Now, you just go on one side and that's pretty normal. Make a nice long line of staples. And then the next side is what's really important. You want to tug that as tight as possible. You cannot make this too tight. Um, I kept checking to make sure it was nice and tight because if it's too loose, you'll, you'll have problems. So for the corner, I just folded it in and made it as smooth as possible. And then I just stapled it down. Once all the staples were done all the way around the bench, I cut off all the excess fabric. And again, this is a touch that makes it look professional and like a really polished. So once that was done, we attached the top to the base with the piano hinge. Um, and then I did finishing details like I filled in the holes and I added some decorative molding. I glued it on, I ended up using brad nails to finish it off, but it's looking so good.